This is the Animation Minute. Welcome back to an Animation Minute. And as always, let's start with jobs. There are a lot. So we got Amazon Games, we got Crystal Dynamics, we got Mob Entertainment, The Third Floor, 31st Union, Unreal Staffing, The Believer Company, Limit Break, Worlds and Worlds Untold. Not sure if that's the same thing. Staffing Ninja. We have Bad Robot Games here. And there's a Cloud Chamber job posting. Creative Circle has one. And Moon Active has also a posting. And last but not least, Super Seed Studios is also looking for people. Now, for those who are in the game industry who are potentially thinking about forming their own studio, here's a good uh, tip here, but I will go down. There's a better resolution in terms of what to pay attention to. Not that I want to amplify someone's ridiculous uh, comments about the layoffs, but the thread that follows is really interesting in terms of what the work that people do in movies and TV shows and, and game animation can do in terms of inspiration. I think that heavily outweighs what Matt was posting here. So you go to animation. This is super cool. I'm not the only one to think so. This has almost 2 million views. It's really, really neat. Also really cool. I love that ending. That's on bonkers animation. Nicely done. This is always very satisfying and snappy, but I love that little bluey keychain. Here's a great reel. Watch the whole thing. This is a minute and 22 long worth every second. Klanosaurus is back. As always, they have fantastic renders and really nice squishy animation. Here's one and then here's another one. Make sure to check out the Instagram accounts. Lots of animation posted there. Moving over to some technical mechanical animation. I love all the kind of like, like the moving parts that kind of wiggle around. I love all that stuff. And as it drills in, so I'm gonna watch the whole thing here. As it settles and drops, all that stuff. Very satisfying, I love it. Here's another really, really great post. This is by Pierce. This is a great animation. Watch the whole thing with sound. Really nice performance. Another really fun piece. Lots of nice smears and sound effects as well. Speaking of props, here's another one. <laughs> really nice, I like it. This is cool. I like this look, very cool. Here's a 30 second piece, but all about walk cycles, what to pay attention to, go through into the translate post, because I can't read this, but it's really nice. I love tutorials like that. This is very cool. Going to 2D animation, really nice, I like it. Speaking of 2D, that is cool and dynamic, I love it. 2D effects, always something that is high on my loving list. These designs are absolutely my gem, so cool. Including that one, come on. Love that. Then we have seen the release of the Vision Pro. Here is a post about accessories and goodies like that. Plus the archive app that is all about Star Trek. Also some Batman in there, but I do have the Vision Pro and the Star Trek stuff is absolutely bonkers. It's really, really cool. If you follow me on Twitter, you might have seen this. This is about two minutes long, but you can go through and look at models, but also go through so many different, I even like Deep Space Nine is on there by different bridges and everything. It's so, so, so cool. If you're a Star Trek fan, you got a spatial uh, and you got the Apple Vision Pro, so cool. Speaking of mixed reality, that is cool. I like that, like real-time lighting, that's neat. Then there is a new Ghostbusters trailer for the sequel to the sequel to the sequel, <laughs> but it's neat. I like it, we're back in New York, that's cool. Nice cast. This is bonkers, hold on. I'm a massive fan of a little miniature version of these ships. This is great, but I'm a big fan of this design forever. And this is so cool. Here's another tweet by Edward here. And he has a book coming out very, very soon. We have DreamWorks new movie, Orion and the Dark, that is now on Netflix. It's on my list. I'll hopefully watch it this weekend. And here are new images for that Christmas. This is by Simon Otto. Definitely check out this series here. This is the uh, part three out of four. No CGI really just means invisible CGI. These are really, really informative. Definitely watch them. And what I talked about last week is now out. The Kickstarter is running now, she says. Great, looks awesome. Speaking of pixels, I love stuff like that. Going from eight by eight, come on, like, how, I don't know. Pixels, will, they will never get old for me. I love it. That's cool too. Nice impact, nice animation. Great pixel art animation. And last but not least, this is cool. I like the combination of the 3D aspect plus 2D flat pixel art. I know this is cool. Anyway, I'll leave it at that. That's that for the Animation Minute. You can tune in every week on Mondays and hopefully I'll see you around my channel.